Hey gang, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Iron Throne. And with Iron Throne, we're going to be talking about going ahead and putting in some new Outcry gear, level 40 gear, into some new heroes. So, let's go ahead and get into that. So, we're going to go ahead and get into our hero uh, page. Now, with our hero, I do have a couple of new heroes. So, we've got Kenzaburo and Shaheen. Um, so we're going to go ahead and prioritize Kenzaburo just because he looks cooler. They are both premium heroes, so at the at level 60 they will both have the same power level, and they'll probably have the same power level at every level in between. However, let's go ahead and just get them up. Quick, yes. quick point, check their runes first. Each has a different premium rune. Okay. So this rune is a leverage archer damage increase of 10%. And uh, Rashid has additional damage in raid, 25%. Wow, that's actually a really good rune right there. You're going to use that rune for... Oh, fuck, that's the thing. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Wow, no. no. God damn it. We, I can save it and put it into a uh, different hero, or I can pop him into... Kenzaburo's spot when we go ahead and do that uh, Dark Knight. Actually, no. We're That's the gear it. that we forgot, though. That's the pack yeah. we forgot. Hey, no, no big worries. We'll buy that Dark Knight gear uh, in time for next week. However, for now, uh, since we want a better um, Archer rune, we are going to currently be utilizing a the Leverage Archer Damage Increase, correct? The Leverage Archer Damage Increase will increase Archer Damage versus Infantry. Because archer damage versus infantry is the leveraged damage. Archers have leverage damage against infantry. Infantry have leverage damage against cavalry. And cavalry have leverage damage against archers. And since I do not have any other runes available for archers... Did you open your 300 boxes? Oh, I did not open all my 300 boxes. You're welcome. So, you actually have 500, I think. Yeah, so right now we're actually we're going to ignore that. And we're just going to go ahead and increase this hero's level up. You're going to want to keep that anyway, by the way. What? You're oh, going yeah. archer heavy. So the gear that you're putting on is archer based. Right. And archers are weak to cavalry. So that's obviously you're going to want to have things that are going to increase your damage against cavalry usually. However, infantry are currently the most common troops. It's the easiest gear to get. So it's what people use the most of. Because people usually use Berserker gear until they can afford to upgrade. And typically when they upgrade, they can't make all the pieces at once. So they'll start making infantry gear thinking that they'll just replace Berserker pieces and swap them in and out until they have another set. Things that a lot of people get forced into infantry. Okay. So, Perfect. by having it leveraged, you're going to do a lot more pew-pew to uh, the end. Exactly. Now, with my uh, sixth slot, um, I do have another... Um, oh, actually, I have two immortal necklaces of Valkyrie. Yes, you do. So, we're going to go ahead and put that final necklace in, and we have a full six-piece set on Kenzaburo. Now, with our second hero, we have Shaheen. We need to go ahead and stretch out all of my experience to get him up to level 40. So this is going to take a lot of my hero experience. I'm actually kind of nervous now that we might not be able to make him there. And yeah, it's not looking good for his cause. However, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use a 10,000 gold for... Yeah, yeah, you have enough gold to make it and it's totally worth it. Yeah. Alright, so we got him there. Now we're going to go ahead and equip our secondary set of Valkyrie. Now the reason I did not go ahead and enhance this gear is because um, I wanted to go ahead and have... Wait, I got... Oh, this is chaotic. Okay, never mind. Um, yep. The reason I didn't enhance is because this gear will allow me to be... Um, deputy. Yeah, have a deputy so we can have... With research, I'm allowed to send in two heroes into each march, so this will just allow me to have two additional heroes, which is actually going to be more beneficial um, 
than just one level of enhancement and also because I wasn't able to get a full set um, at Immortal. And then my final piece since I only have one necklace is going to be an enhancement ring just to add a little bit of hero health I believe that is. Hero defense actually. It's hero defense but it's actually going to be completely uh, ineffective except for combat power. Okay. Because the slot you're using him for isn't going to use the hero defense. Okay, perfect. And then we also have some other gear, but don't really know what we want to do with that. So that is the heroes. So they're all set up. That gave us a overall gain of about 57 million power. <laughs> I can't do math. Hold on. 60, no. 60, 60, 63 million. 60, like 65 or something. Yeah. But the amount that you gain from just putting on some gear is literally ridiculous. Yes, and we're not even done you went tonight, from ladies being and gentlemen. Naked to just being held. So that is our gear. We got them from the forge. We were doing a lot of risk assessment with: Do we want to craft with an eighty uh, percent chance of getting immortal? Do we want to craft with like a forty percent or sixty percent? So we're going back and forth on maximizing that. But uh, yeah, that's that. Now we're going to go ahead and get into runes for our next video. Thank you all for watching. And now, seven seconds of silence while we go into the outro. But I don't know how to count, so this timing might be off. Do, 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 I'm Captain Cowboy's friend. Do, 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 I'm the background noise. Elevator music, beast on swag. Let's go, oh yeah, you are.